Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this photo of the night sky with clouds into this. Uh, so I originally took these photos on a cloudy night just outside the city. I took it with my Sony RX100 Mark II camera. It's a, well, it was a top end point and shoot camera. Um, I basically just put the camera into manual setting mode. I opened up the aperture as wide as possible. So you can see here the f-stop is 1.8. I tweaked the manual exposure times a little bit to, and uh, came up with a value of 13 seconds and an ISO value of uh, 800. Uh, so let's get started. So um, I've got all of my photos of the night sky here with clouds. You can see they're progressing through. So I basically have to remove these clouds, stack the images, so I can get a nice picture of the night sky. So I'm going to do this using Affinity Photo. Okay, so I'm in Affinity Photo now. I'm just going to go File, New Stack. I'm going to press Add to bring in my still images of the stars. I'm just going to select, say, the first 15 images. Press Open. Here I want to select automatically align images, so Affinity Photo will try and uh, rotate scale and translate the uh, positions of the stars on top of each other so I can create an image stack. You can do this by selecting scale, rotate and translate from the pull down menu here, and then press OK. And this will take just a few moments for it to align and stack the images. OK, so we're back. So the next thing you want to do is go over here to the right hand side and select the layers option. Over here you just want to double check that it's using a median filter. So the way median filters work are they select the most commonly occurring pixel out of the image stack. So since the stars are relatively static in the image, i.e. The, the pixel positions are in the same position after the stack, uh, the only difference between the images is essentially the cloud moving across the images. So since the stars are the most commonly occurring pixel in the image, the median filter essentially removes the clouds from the picture. So assuming that's median selected, go back here to the adjustment tab. First select the levels option. I started um, just by using this darken preset here to begin with. So if you click that, you'll see it slightly darkens the image. Now close the levels window. Come down here on the right hand side to the curves option. And what you want to do, I found just playing around with these settings to get a result that you like works best. So start by dragging this one up and just dragging it over to the left a little bit. And you get a pretty good result there. You can clearly see the center of the Milky Way there. This is the Sagittarius constellation. And you can see this part of the um, picture here is the center of the galaxy. This bright star here is Jupiter in the night sky. And then you can export your image just as a JPEG or PNG by going File, Export, Save as PNG. I'll save it at the full resolution of the camera and PNG and Export. And I'll export it to the desktop and call it Final. And after some more tweaks of the curves and levels, this is my final result that I got. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the video. Thank you, and goodbye.